think we need we're gonna need a dump truck soon this doesn't scale doesn't scale at all we need to get some crash rack from here we want to take it all the way up that way that is where we are going to build the yard for equipment and we are going to build one uh, bedroom uh, studio apartment for them to be staying in and here is the block factory we're going to put the roof on top of these uh, loop uh, poles you see here and then we're going to put concrete on the floor and then make a block factory here so the guys will stop working in the sun so this is actually a huge uh, place to make blocks uh, that's the storage facility there and on the other side is where they stay for now and we're gonna have more workers once we fix the equipment yeah we expand this place that's the idea but this thing doesn't skip for now we want to move some crash racks so they can go start building the studio apartment for me and because we don't have a dump truck we are making do so we need to make a dump truck quick <laughs> everybody taking shovel including the cook <laughs> the cook picks up the shovel to work guys this is not easy cook is working Let's let's see her let her take one shovel load. Let me see. Oh Jesus! <laughs> okay, it's working. So this is how much we badly need a dump truck. We have the other pickup, but that pickup is in town. And I came here and we needed to do some work, so we're doing this. But even if the pickup were here, the problem is we will have to still uh, be loading this to the back of the pickup. So, and then getting it out of that back of the pickup is double work. At least this trailer, we can use the hydraulic system to use it as a dump truck. We can incline it and then the, some of that rock can roll down what we really need is a loader like a mini excavator to be loading these things and then uh, emptying that into a dump truck and then the dump truck dumping there on the side so that's what we need a mini excavator or a compact track loader I can load some stuff and also a dump truck. So right now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lower that thing a little bit so they can just roll up there with the wheelbarrow. Initially they said they were gonna throw it on there but I saw him going up with the wheelbarrow so I think I'm gonna help them make it easier by doing this. So this is hydraulic system, just pushing that body. So that way they can just ride right up there. The problem is that when they ride up there again, to dump it on there can be a little tough. It be additionally challenging.
is what we are up to here today. Using our trailer now. That's a mini dump truck. So I think a dump truck is the next important thing we can go get. Because the soil is very sandy, even getting materials in here can be a headache. And uh, not all delivery drivers have a four wheel drive truck. So finding one can be a headache. And then because they are rare, they charge extra because they have to make the trip in the sandy soil. So that's digging a bit of a hole in the wallet right now for X City. So we gotta work on that dump truck thing. And we will work on it. We're gonna, if you're curious, we're gonna use this rock to build a very small 8 meter by 8 meter one bedroom apartment for myself and then these bricks are gonna be used to build some of that and also to build a fence around that and that fence will double as the equipment yard and I'll be living in the equipment yard while work is going on <laughs> That's the, that's the thing, that's the plan. And thankfully we have an additional workhorse that doubles as my personal living space right now. So up there, up that back, you see that thing ready on the FSR. That is a rooftop tent. So for instance, I'm going to spend the night here tonight. And I'm going to pop it up. And that will be my bedroom tonight. I will sleep right up there over the bed of the truck. And yeah, we'll see how that deploys and how it works. So it doubles as my home, temporary home. And also something that pulls some weight here. So that's that. So bring me. You say I starting Monday. 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 How many bags we got there, Benedict? So if this guy's two hundred, we'll have hundred plus. So first of all, I have five hundred bags. And then many day hundred. How many are they? So that four hundred. How many are they? One hundred and seventy two. So three hundred three hundred and twenty eight. Cover guys, how many they use? 
Pepe. So, no, they were doing two different sizes of covers, right? The, the small cover or one bag, right? How many he did? Nine? So that's nine bags. And then the bigger cover, he was using one and a half pair that. And he did what? 18? So that's what? 27. 27 bags. So 27 bags plus the nine bags the other guy used. That's 36 bags. 36 bags plus your son did another 100. So about 200 and something bags we've used now, right? So it should be about 300 bags left. But we use some we use some of that to do that flow in there, right? Yes. How many we used? Three. Three. So we stay around three hundred bags left. Right? Mm -hmm. So they may use another hundred, we still should have two hundred more bags. Left. So about three hundred should be there now. Mm -hmm. According to our calculation. About 300 bags left. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hello. Hello. How many bears you think we need to build that place? Hmm? I want to know what I should bring most cement bear now or wait later. How many bears oh, will you use? Yeah. yeah. Okay. 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 Until we dig our well, the cook has to go all the way down there. Our neighbors dug a well over there, that zinc shaft you see over there. There is a guy who's building a house over there and they dug a well already. So she goes there for water. So we gotta dig our own well. Uh, we're not digging the borehole here that we did at the other mini site. Because this place is a sandy soil and for this type of work, we don't need that boho. Boho is expensive and this soil is not the right type for it, especially if you just want uh, water for work. So we're gonna design a proper water mechanism, like a proper well here, that will supply water to exit the residence, uh, purified water, drinkable water, but that's not right now. These are to dig, making those covers to dig a well. We'll put a pump in that well, but it will just be for work and for shower and other things, cooking and things like that. Wow, we will work. Ooh, hi. We got this filler before the headache. It's doing a lot of work already. Makes it work easier while we don't have a dump truck yet. Those kids come from the host village. One of the landlord's kids. And they're always around.
massive construction start. Um, just have a grip, and we have a lot of demarcations, the construction sign, and we'll have a particular safety personnel, maybe one of these ladies. So just control kids being around, um, where they can go and where they cannot go for their safety. But for now, uh, simple work. They can hang around a little bit, maybe hopefully learn a thing or two about work ethics and how to do some, some, how to actually do some of this work. So it's not a bad idea to have them hanging around as long as they're safe. So I think we should carry this load now, right? Then we'll come back again. Then we should carry the one and then we'll come back for those ones. So we'll come back, there's additional rock in the back there. Hmm? Did not wire on the air, you connect it. This car is not play. It's a big car, as you can see. This is the problem with the
Wow, this guy is very, very big. This is his big fashion car. Has a bay on top of it. Wow. See that? That is big, big, very much big. Yes, sir. I will be with you, sir. I will be around. Uh, yeah, when it just start, huh? yes, the way it sit, the not drawing it will be clean. We are going to town, boss. We get water from the pond. Yes, sir. So that is where I'm gonna be sleeping tonight. It's all set up. Yeah, you can leave that thing. Uh, we don't have to connect it tonight. Yeah, you can lay down at night. That's fine. Yeah. For now, yep, it's gonna be my sleeping place for the night. Now I'll use this as my lamp, and we have some. Cold water, we have everything we need. I put some water in there tonight before I sleep. Whew. I think we should put this lantern off so I can reserve some power. But tonight, although I have plenty of power, I have my solar backup. <laughs> All right. All the mosquitoes don't want to enter, but they can't enter. Look at the lazy cook. All right. Oh, now you've been there. You're a good time, brother, today. Hmm. 
So it's my first night. I'm gonna be sleeping in my rooftop tent. And if you're wondering, this is how I'm sleeping in here. I can open here to have air come in but prevent insects from coming in. And I can do the same on this end. And I can do the same on that end. And also, this is the doorway here. I could do that. There is also another area of one that I can open for moonlight, so to speak. Uh, look, it has this thing where I can even like open it fully and stick it right up there. And I can get more air coming in here. This thing is actually nice. And it has LED strips, guys. Uh, so let me turn this video around and turn the camera around. So it's got some LED strips. I don't know if you can see this. This is a strip. Uh, it has this uh, USB cord which you just need to connect to a power bank. I wish it had come with power bank but it doesn't come with power bank. And you can put a power bank right in there. And it also have a hook here where you can probably hang a shirt or something here. Uh, okay. Uh, you're not seeing this. This is it right here. There's a hook. You can hang a suit on there. There's another one in that corner out there. Which it looks like there's four of them in four corners. There's little hooks. And these pouches are hanging here. You can hang stuff in there. You can put stuff in the pouches. And yeah, it's kind of nice. It's comfortable in here. It has windows that can open up. And that's the roof window here. Uh, so it has this mesh that allows air to flow in, but no insect can get in here. And right now I'm getting some cool air. Uh, I have full windows here also. There's the other window with the mesh. And if I don't want that, I can just close all of these windows with this and just zip it up. And these zips look really durable. Um, there's no insect coming in here. Yeah, I can hear them banging against this mesh from the outside, but they're not gonna get in. They can't get in. Uh, here is another thing here. Uh, yep, it's nice in here. I also have a sleeping bag here by the same company, by the way. If I want to uh, sn basically snuggle in there and sleep if it is cold, I can do that. So that's what this is for. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm good here, man. The one thing I think I need here, it would be like a little uh, pillow, maybe, uh, for people who love pillow, like me. I will have a small pillow in here, but other than I'm good. Now, in place of the pillow, I'm going to be using this thing. This thing can sleep a couple of people, maybe three to four people, actually. Um, so if I'm sleeping here, thing about it, there is still space here, but yet there is space on this side. I can sleep at least two people at least. Um, yeah, so this can sleep three to four people. Uh, full room people, uh, maybe depending on the size, maybe uh, at least two to three can fit in here nicely. So I love it. <sighs> First night in exiting me. Um, I think I'm gonna take off this uh, work pants. It's clean though. But I said I'm gonna get it off. Just to relax, sleep well. Uh, there is something up there that looks like an insect. Maybe one snuggle in. It looks like a tip that is just bouncing around. Uh -huh. I think I got it. It's set to the floor, I could hear it. Um, it's kind of nice in here. Feels good. Um, Alright, good night guys. And I'll talk to you tomorrow.